to Trail Talk here on LTTV. I'm Chris Ford. I'm the Director of Marketing for Illinois Eastern Community Colleges and Lincoln Trail College. And I'm joined by Lincoln Trail College President, Dr. Zahi Atala. Zahi, how are you today? I'm doing great. Always a pleasure when we talk. So it is April, and it's an exciting time for community colleges because it's Community College Month. And we're starting a new series focusing on uh, the great things that community colleges do, the way we're going to talk to some people that have benefited from community colleges, from Lincoln Trail College specifically. So it's, it, it's a really exciting time for us. It's a time to celebrate what we've been doing for a little over 100 years now as two-year colleges across this nation, especially in this state, right? Joliet Junior College is, to my recollection, the oldest. Yeah, and you know, community colleges are, are very important in Illinois. Um, important right here in southeastern Illinois, too. We're in a, a unique situation where Lincoln Trail College is a part of a four college system, which is very unique. And you know, that provides students with advantages. But overall, let's talk a little bit about how community colleges can benefit both students and the community. Yeah, in many ways we're unsung heroes and we're forgotten and people are zooming on highways by, by each of our um, institutions nationally disregarding us and calling us, uh, you know, grade 13. Uh, there's no shame in being grade 13. We all went through school and, and you know, uh, what is grade 16? It's another school, right? Uh, but, but we're local. And we're local to our community and we serve the community needs. We change with those needs, whether it's employment uh, and workforce development needs or whether it is uh, civic and, and uh, community interest. So we pivot on a dime and, and we are a lot more nimble uh, than, than most other institutions of higher learning. Moreover, uh, we are open access and we're driven by local needs and boards of trustees. Right, and you know, all of that's great. One of the things that I, I really like about community colleges is that that accessibility to students, whether you know, you're talking about somebody that needs to earn a GED because they dropped out of high school at some point. Right somebody that is looking to transfer to a four university, someone coming back to school to take advantage of a career technical program. There's so many different advantages for uh, students and so many different opportunities for students. Indeed, uh, as you were talking, I was, I was building a picture of, uh, in my head of not just a ladder with upward mobility, but, but opportunities of entrance and exit uh, ramps uh, on and off and, and uh, how we're really integral and we do uh, materialize that picture. Um, I'd like to add to what you said is despite the fact that many people uh, think twice about coming to a two-year college, we're still the largest higher education system uh, in this nation, and we are the place where many people learn how to learn. Many people change their lives. The upward mobility that, that we help with is, is born by numbers. Yeah, and, and I think you, you, you have some of those numbers right off of, <laughs> on top of your uh, mind, yeah. Right, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, Lincoln Trail College being a financially smart choice, and mm -hmm. often when we talk about that, we're talking about that in the context of saving on tuition and all of that, right. but there's, there's lifetime things that come with that, too. So, you know, our, our students get a 23% return on their investment, uh, which outperforms the stock market, for example. <laughs> Um, you know, on average, a degree is worth $9,000 more a year in salary than somebody who has a high school diploma only, and almost double that for somebody that does not have a high school degree. So, I mean, that's real money that you can put in your pocket. There's also a societal benefit as well, where, you know, there's a, a great return on investment for taxpayers with community colleges where they make back uh, almost 
double what they put in dollars and cents wise. And I mean, overall in the the economy for uh, community colleges, you're, you're talking about a gigantic economic impact just for IECC, you know, for what it does. It's $199 million in the local economy in this area in southeastern Illinois. That's a tremendous impact. Yes. Alumni impact alone, $146 million. So it's a huge impact for what we do for not only students, but also for society. You bet. You bet. Wonderful numbers. I, I Yeah. Uh, they speak for themselves, right? Uh, we also talk about uh, food deserts. Uh, we need to talk about educational deserts. Community colleges are in urban areas, the inner cities. Community colleges like us are in rural areas, and we're it for people. So when we talk about access and accessibility, we're talking about people who may not have the means of going anywhere. So it's, uh, it's even harder for them to be in a residential four-year institution. Most of those are selective. We're not. We open doors for them to go to those selective places, or we offer them opportunities to get trained in a flexible manner around their lifestyle and what is dictated by their circumstances, whereas others expect you to fit particular molds, expect you to be full-time student all the time. Right, and I think about you know some of the things that, that we've done to touch some of our own students' lives just this year, we had a student that came back to us after being in a spot where he lost his job and he took advantage of a, a state program that helped pay for his education and he's done really well. And I remember talking to him this fall and the thing that really stood out to me was him saying, you know, I've never had the opportunity to own a home. Mm -hmm. And now, I see in, in a very short amount of time, I'm going to be able to do that. And, you know, this is a guy that's, you know, an adult, has kids, and, you know, having that opportunity is amazing. I think about one of our other students in our broadband telecom program, Colorblind. Uh, yep, yep. And, I remember both of them. Yeah, and, you know, is having some trouble you know, with that because you have different colored wires that you have to be able to see, and she was trying to make do with what she had, but you know, thanks to community support, local support, the one-on-one -on -one support that you get here, mm -hmm. there's an effort made to get her in chroma glasses so now she can see colors and finish her education and, and do well. Yeah, uh, wonderful examples, and multiply that by the hundreds of students we do that to here and across the nation. When I think about our local uh, Lincoln Trail College Foundation, this semester they gave out a hundred, over $111,000 just in scholarships to local students. Last semester it was 90,000. That's $200,000 in from one foundation that's supporting the local economy. Those are individuals that don't have to borrow money. And, and I mean, that's, that's incredible because that makes that education accessible to people that mm -hmm. may not have been able to get any kind of education before. And I mean, to me, that's really at the heart of the mission of community colleges to, to enrich lives. So April's Community College Month, we're going to be celebrating all month long with a variety of different stories. You're going to see some special guests here throughout the month. We're really excited about that and excited about celebrating Community College Month. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure and hit the like button, ring the bell, subscribe, and when you ring that bell, you'll get notifications. That also helps us out with other people finding these yes. videos. And you know, certainly follow us on our other social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we're, we're all over. Yes. So, no TikTok yet, but... <laughs> Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this week's edition of Trail Talk. Uh, for Dr. Atala, I'm Chris Ford. We'll see you next time on Trail Talk on LTTV.